In this video today we're going to be talking about the six story secret and this is a strategy that can be really beneficial for teacher interviews. If you're not sure who I am, my name is Thomas Blakemore and I'm a teacher here in Dubai. So in this video I want to be as supportive as possible and talk through one of the strategies that's been included in this guide that I've recently written on my website teachtraveltriumph.com. This is a guide to support you with getting your first teacher job and it includes lots of information that can really help you with the process so feel free to check that out. The six story secret is as followed. It's something that I recently found out about that I didn't realize I could really benefit from knowing. When you go to interview it can be quite challenging to think about the different things that you want to talk about and can be quite confusing. A head teacher of a friend spoke about the six story secret and essentially it breaks down into six stories obviously that can once thought about be fed into interview answers and as a result make you less stressed. If you combine this with the starred approach that I've shared in a previous video, it becomes really powerful. So what I'd wanna do is break down what those six categories are so that that can be really beneficial for you. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel so that you can see future content like this. Story number one is pedagogy or your education beliefs. Thinking about how you teach is really, really important. A story that would benefit your how you teach is going to really support you with questions that ask about those sorts of things. Can you tell me about your teaching practice? Can you tell me about a time you've been outstanding in the classroom? You can then come back to that pedagogy story and talk through that story. So for me, it might be a time where I noticed I had some gifted and challenged children in the classroom. So I implemented the teach to the top strategy. It helps if I can say it. And from there, I really noticed the benefit in some of the children who would normally find learning quite challenging because they had those expectations to rise to. Something really simple, but then I can elaborate on that story even further. Behavior management. I guarantee if you're a training teacher, experienced teacher, we all have a child, a scenario that has been quite challenging in terms of behavior management. Think about a story that has perhaps been extremely challenging and a time that you've overcome a challenging circumstance with behavior management and you can start to tell that story. This can be implemented into relationship type questions and other questions related to behavior management strategies. Don't forget also with those sorts of stories, you can then implement it into whatever their behavior management policy is and it can start to form a really strong answer. Working as part of a team is another story that I recommend having in your arsenal and it can really benefit you in terms of talking about well-being, talking about working with additional adults, TAs, those sorts of people who are really important, especially if you're going for your first teaching job where you're then going to be talking about that person who's going to cover you for that, for that extra NQT, ECT time, and being able to talk about a time that you've been able to work as a team, perhaps challenging uh, additional adults who you've been able to discuss and have that sort of difficult conversation with can really be beneficial. So for me, it might be the story that I've shared in the previous video about having a new teaching assistant who I needed to support and have those meetings with. So from there, you can then talk about that story and how those things came about and again, implement that starred strategy to think about how you were able to overcome a challenge. The next one would be how you've demonstrated care. For example, for me, it would be having that wellbeing box that I've shared in a previous video. In the classroom, this has always been a, a really beneficial one. A bit more challenging due to COVID, but I've had lots of difficult conversations with children who have put anonymous things. Well, they're not anonymous, they put their name on them, but <laughs> they share their different worries and concerns. And then we can have that conversation about different things that they find difficult. Then you can integrate into how I discuss things with parents and make sure that their well-being and concerns are addressed. Another story to talk about is how you've gone the extra mile. This might lead back to behavior management, but it can also be extracurricular activities come to mind immediately. It doesn't just have to be that though, it could be something to do with well-being, safeguarding even. So something along those lines that you can then come back to and answer questions that I've spoken about previously. The last one is something that demonstrates why you're unique. You will know this, I don't know this about you, but you will be able to have a think about that. I mean, I could say probably something along the lines of YouTube and how it's been beneficial, but I probably wouldn't go for that one at the same time. So it'd just be something that you are unique for and something that you can talk about. You will know, I don't know. I don't know who's behind the screen, but hello, feel free to subscribe <laughs> because that comes to the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Again, as I said before, the guide is available and full of 
plenty of information that you will find really beneficial. So feel free to check that one out. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one, but until then, I'm out.